So, welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a two-player shootout game. So, in this uh, game, the objective is to uh, shoot at each other using the spaceship to, uh, you can use the spaceship to move around. So, player one, you use WASD and spacebar to shoot. Player two, use arrow keys and zero, the button, the key zero to shoot. And then, uh, these, some alien bugs will fly around and try to hit, uh, hit the spaceships and you lose HP when they hit you and if your opponent hits you as well you also lose HP on your shield and when your shield is destroyed um, you will only have the spaceship left and you'll be a one shot and each side gets 2000 HP for the shield and um, the shields will rotate so in such a way so that um, if you are lucky enough you can shoot a bullet through both of the shields and you can hit your opponent so in this video, we'll be learning these following concepts, variables, repeat until loops, <coughs> broadcasting messages, touching other sprites, controlling sprites with keys, and then we'll use custom blocks. So without further ado, let's get to the project. So let's make it full screen. Oops. So my brother is here to play with me. He'll, hey. be, he'll be player one, which is the blue one. I'll be player yeah, two, which is sure. the red one. And the player one uses WASD and spacebar to shoot, and player two uses arrow keys and zero to shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh, I shot through. I shot through it. See, I killed. I, I beat my brother because I shot through. You want to do it one more time? Sure. And there's music. Oh, you shot through me. Oh my god. Okay, let's try one more time. This is too fast. And you can shoot the aliens as well. I, I, you shot through me. Okay, so that's pretty much the game. So if you want to make the game a bit harder, you can make the second shield rotate faster. And also, the rock. we got this game inspired by the Rock Blaster game, so um, which has been doing really well lately. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out in the description below or from our channel. So, without further ado, let's start a new project. Start a new project. So first, we want to create some variables. So, we'll make three global variables and one um, for this sprite-only variable, but we'll worry about the for this sprite-only variable later. We'll just need to make three variables. So, um, let's make one called player. Oops, I have caps lock on. Player one shield. So for all sprites, click K. And then we make, make another variable called player two shield. Player two shield. And one more called alien set for player set for player one. We do not need another one for player two since we're using if else statement. But yeah, that's all the variables you'll need for now. And I'm just gonna get a backdrop real quick from the sprite library. I mean backdrop library. So let me get the nebula one. This one's the one I've been using. You of course you can pick anything else. And I'll add the sound later, uh, but just right now I'll just have the backdrop. And make sure, um, let's get some sprites real quick. Delete your scratch cat. We will not need that. And um, they do not have this um, spaceship in 3.0 anymore. It's from 2.0. Um, so I just got them from 2.0. And you notice how I rotate it to the side. So in the sprite, you want to rotate it to the side. And this one should be 0.90. In the direction of 90 so it'll be pointing to the right side and this one should be pointing to negative 90 so it'll be pointing to the left side i'm also going to get this ladybug sprite i'm not sure if they have it in 3.0 but uh you can just get something i think it's i think it is but i'm not really sure but you can just get anything you want and i, I noticed how i no rotated it as well because these spaceships are rotated as well so if these spaceships are rotated, I have to also rotate the ladybug, so it'll be pointing to the spaceship. And I also colored their eyes red. Um, 
Um, you can do that if you want. It's optional just to make the ladybugs look a little bit better. And I have the lasers. These are for the player one and player two's lasers. So all I did was just get the button sprite from the uh, sprite library. And then I have the shields. So for the shields, I just drew a, uh, I just drew like a circle. So I'm going to show you guys how to draw the shields for the spaceships. So I'm just going to select the color. So I'm, the color was 54, saturation 100, and brightness 76, and the um, outline is 10. So what you want to do is get the circle tool, and then you want to draw a circle like that. Hold down shift key so then you get a perfect circle. And then you just center your sprite, and then you use the erase tool right here, and then you can just erase however much you want, like maybe that much, maybe a little bit more. So like that, like that, like that. Something like that, you can draw it like that. So that's how you draw the shield for the game. So first we will work on the alien. Remember I told you to turn it uh, for player one. Actually let's work on player, the players first. We can work on the alien later. So let me toggle this backpack. So when flat clicked, I want to set my uh, player one to be at negative 160 at y0 so it will be somewhere like right here like right here near the end end of the screen and then i want to set the rotation to left and right so then it won't t flip upside down or you can just select it right here the default is this just click this it'll be only to left and right and i want to set the pl player shield to 2000 the player one shield to 2000 I mean, you can do any, as much health as you want, or as little health as you want. It's up to you guys. And let's get a forever loop. Forever, point and direction of 90, so it'll always face the right side. We always want this to face the right side. And if on edge, bounce, so then they can't go inside behind the screen, I guess. Um, and for the player one, I'm doing it WASD. So, if... The key D is clicked. Key D is clicked. Pressed that we can change the X by 10. Let's change the X by 10. And let's just duplicate this. If the key is A press, then we want to change the X by negative 10. So we'll go to the left side. And let's duplicate both of these. If the key W is clicked, is pressed, that we can change the Y by 10, so it'll go up. And if the key S is clicked, then we can make the Y, change the Y by negative 10. So, yeah, so this is the um, movement code for the player. So as you can see, it moves around. The shield has not gone to the player yet because we have not done the code for that. But now you can have simple movement for the player. And when it's touching the edge of the screen, it cannot it'll just bounce off. So that's what we have for the player for now. And we will need uh, the code for the laser. Let's go to the laser. One fly clicked. Get a forever loop. If the key space is pressed because this is for player one. If you like, you can name this the player one laser or something like that so you won't get confused. And if the space bar is pressed, then I'll create a clone of myself. Uh, wait until not key space is pressed. So this is to prevent them from spamming the uh, space bar, as you can see. Um, so if you have this, wait until not space is clicked so wait until not space key is pressed and i need to mention one more thing so if you want these sprites and you don't want to like draw them because it's a bit hard to do i guess you can go to our google drive in the link in the description to download them 
Um, and I've seen a lot of people in, uh, trying to request for access using their school accounts. Your school accounts will not work since it's for school. So you have to use your own personal Google account. So after the laser, we need to, when it's created a clone, we have to, when I start as a clone, we want to go to player one. Go to the player one. Go to player one. And we want to point point in the direction of the direction of player one. So point in direction of the direction of player one. Um, direction. Pretty sure it's this one. Direction. Wait, it's not this one. This one. Right? No, this is distance. Sorry about that. It's actually this one. You have to select this one first. So now you have direction like that. So you have to, when you want to find the player, you have to always select this one first. So put that right there. Let's move 50 steps to like move it to the front, I guess. So move 50 cent steps. And then we want to show. So next we want to get a repeat until loop. Let's go here, get a repeat until. So if it's touching, since this is in the player one's perspe perspective, we have to do everything for player two. So you're just going to drag two or statements right here. So repeat until touching edge. Touching edge. Touching edge. Or touching... Uh, the player two shield one. Player two shield one is the first big shield, or it's touching, oops, or it's touching the player two shield two, which is a small shield for player two. Then we can move ten steps. So move to it, move ten steps, and if, and then this is, if touching, the player. 2 shield 1 or the player 2 shield 2. Let me just duplicate this actually. So I don't have to redo it. If it's touching that, then we can broadcast a message. We can call broadcast and wait a message called player 2 got hit. Player 2 got hit. Player 2 got hit. I'm just going to duplicate this if it's touching player two. So as I mentioned earlier, once you destroy their shield, you if they're one shot. So if you touch them, then they're dead. If touching player two, if touching player two, we can broadcast another message. Call it player, player two dead. And then we can delete this clone. And we have to add a delete this clone right here. Right here, we're gonna have to add that, and then we have to add one at the end, like that. So this is for shooting. So as you can see, now you can shoot. You can move around and you can shoot. And remember I told you earlier, this thing is to prevent them from spamming. If you take that out, you can just spam like this, which you do not want. And that's not, that's not very good. So let's, so remember to put this in. And and then if you want, um, for the, uh, when I received player two, when I received player two got hit, which is from here, two got hit, that we can change the player two shield by five. Player two shield by negative five. And for the other laser, it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into the player two. So just drag and drop this into the player two. Except you have to change the X and Y position and all that stuff. So instead of negative 160, I'm going to do 160. So it'll appear on the right side of the screen. Instead of player one shield, you have to set the player two shield. So, so let's just go, instead of point direction of 90, we want to go negative 90. So point to the left side. And then um, right here, instead of D, we want to do right arrow ki uh, clicked because it's the player uh, 2. So if right arrow is pressed, 
Instead of A, let's do left arrow is pressed. Instead of W, we'll do up arrow is pressed. And instead of S, we'll do down arrow is pressed. And and then we'll do um, for the lasers. For the lasers, I'm just going to drag and drop this into laser 2. So drag that, drag that, and drag that. Except we'll need to change a couple broadcast messages and um, uh, player things. These thing, this thing, instead of player one, we have to do player two. And instead of go to player one, we want to go to player two because it's the other laser. And instead of uh, and instead of oh yeah, and it's supposed to be direction, not x position. And then um, this should be player one shield one, and this should be player one shield two. Instead of player two shield one and player two shield two, and then if touching player one shield one instead, oops, player one shield one and player one shield two, <clears throat> and then we want to broadcast a new message. Player one got hit instead of player two got hit. Player one got hit, and, and instead of right here, we want to do player one. Player one dead. Player one dead. And instead of right here, player one got hit. We want to change the player one shield by negative five. Okay. So now we have the movement all done. And now instead of space bar, oh yeah, one last thing. This should be zero. I set it to zero so it's easier to play. So now Let's play. Oh yeah, and this is supposed to be zero as well, as you can see there. I forgot to do that. Um, and now, as you can see, you can shoot. You can shoot with the other character. Move around. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do in this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to see all the latest updates on this channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.